I have been anticipating coming to this place for a very long time now. And that's not just because they have three different types of crab. That's because they have a level of spice that is so hot that they have named it Assassinate. So let's go get a plate. Man, this place is amazing. It's such an honor to be here for the first time. I have heard so much about this Assassinate level. You gotta tell me what that is about. Assassinate is the uh, spiciest uh, that we have in our menu. Okay. Not a lot of people try it. Not a lot, like, you know, how many people have you seen do it? Maybe one and one, once a week. That's it. Because huh. it's really spicy. Interesting. And, yeah, so you can give it a shot and see for yourself. So how long have you been at this location? This location, we opened it last uh, December 11, 2021. Oh, wow. So it's like almost a, a whole year. year. A year. Oh, it is a whole year already. Yeah, and then uh, I'm the franchise. Sorry, the, 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 yeah. the time's been passing I'm by so fast. I'm the franchise owner and uh, me and my wife, Griselda. And uh, yeah. We wait, wait, go business. back to that. Who You mean you and your wife own? Yeah. Okay, cool. And so they have, they have a different location. It's starting in Ventura, 2015. My brother, he's the founder and my brother-in-law, Marlon and Jericho. They're the one who uh, started Crab and Spice in Ventura. And they opened in Palmdale, um, Las Vegas, Arizona, Sacramento. So this is all over the west side. Then. Yeah, west side. But, and also they're trying to uh, expand it in the east coast. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so you may see it in New York or something like that, yeah. right? Atlanta. Okay. Atlanta? Atlanta. So that's their, that's their aim for. So yeah. So your wife is also at the at the restaurant as well sometimes? Or yeah, no? she's, she's here sometimes, but you know, you have kids. So no, yeah, of course, good. of course. That's like my dream for me yeah. and my wife to own a restaurant. That's the only yeah. reason I'm asking. But like, what's the spiciest level that you've personally done on the menu? For me, myself, mm -hmm. I just like medium. You just like medium? Medium is already spicy. You never tried the assassinate? I haven't tried it. Man. I haven't. You don't ever wonder what it tastes like? I haven't. So, you know, I, I'm kind of like, you know. You're curious, good with the medium though. Curious, but I like, I probably stick to medium. Thank you so much for having me, bro. You're welcome, man. I really appreciate it. All right. Oh, wow. Dang. Yo, thank you so much. So they're King both crab. in there, right? Yep. All right, sweet. So the smell of it is like super spicy. It smells super flavorful. Got the corn, the potatoes, and that is the biggest Dungeness crab I've probably ever seen in my life. Oh, oh snap. All that in there is meat. Oh, you gotta eat all this inside of it. You gotta get all that. It almost tastes like scrambled eggs. Get some of that sausage. Oh. Gotta be some of the best crab I've ever had in my life, especially with the insides like that. It tastes so much more prolific whenever it's big. Like it's just a small Dungeons crab, you don't really get that like scrambled egg effect. Definitely a solid 10 out of 10 for me. Let's see if we can get a solid pull. I don't see how or why that anybody wouldn't be able to eat that. I just think it tastes really good. There's a lot of flavor to it. I'm gonna get assassinate every single time I come down here because you already know how I do it. No problem on that. Oh snap, there's way more meat off in there. Mm. Get some of that sauce. On, on spice, I'm gonna have to give it like 8.5 out of 10, but flavor, I'm gonna definitely give it out of 10 out of 10. And that's what I look for when I have seafood. Like, it gotta be spicy, but it's also gotta be very, very flavorful, because I hate whenever the spice overpowers the flavor. It's kind of annoying. Let's get one of these big bad boys, though. This is the king crab. Oh, so good. A little 10 out of 10. They even got scissors. For me, I, I really ain't never seen them have scissors at the table like that. Okay. All right. Crack that bad boy open. Look at that. I'm gonna get the whole thing out of there. Yeah, dip it off in the sauce. Oh my goodness, crazy flavor. For the sauce, into the body. So now we got all of the juices inside of the body. What we're gonna do is take a bite of that potato 
and then drink the juice. Lord have mercy, I'm making a mess. But at least they got tablecloths on every single table. That's a plus. Take another one of these. All right, yeah, take the cloth, this part. Take it out. And the whole cloth come out. Dip that off into there. I forgot what I'm eating now. If it's snow crab, king crab, I don't know. It's just good. That was definitely the king crab, though. Lord have mercy. We're going to have to change these out. Chef, so far, this is like the best crab I've ever had in my life. It's so good. I just told the chef that this gotta be some of the best crab that I've ever had in my life, if not the best, because one, I've never had a Dungeness crab that big, but then with the sauce, the flavor and the spice to it is just so clean, so cold. It's like, I love it. I mean, it's not cold, you know what I mean. It's nice. Go up the side of that like that. Come on, come on. Don't do me like this. Stop playing, bro. That's gotta be the best thing you've ever seen in your life. It tastes so good that it makes you think not about the price, just about the flavor. You know, cause like for me, I've heard a lot of people say that crab is expensive, but I think it's like one of the best way to spend your money when you eat because it's just so good. like. It's so light, you know, it's not gonna make you like full. Not too full anyway, like some foods do. It's very light, you can eat a lot of it. Oh man, almost, almost. I had already ate this one. Have you ever done that before? You'd be eating crab, you forgot where you're at, it's so good. You go to crack when you already ate it. it happens to me all the time. Oh. Bro, oh, these scissors are so freaking convenient, bro. Oh, stop playing. There you go. Dip it off in the sauce. So good. Make sure to come down here and get you some crap. I'm telling you, 10 out of 10. So if you wanna know where to get the best crab in Santa Clarita, make sure to come down here because the flavor is on point. I am still looking for a spice level that is gonna put me out the game because even assassinate was nothing that I couldn't take. But it's your boy Spicy Cam. You know where to find me. And until next time, stay spicy. I'm gonna get back to eating this crab now.